So today I'll talk about a U0073 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0073 code? Well, it's a control module communication bus A off. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles can have multiple computer modules in them. They can have the ECM, which is the engine control module. They can have a TCM, which is the transmission control module. There can also be an ABS module, which is for the brakes. And all these different computer modules, they all need to talk to each other and back to the main computer in order for the vehicle to keep running properly. And the main computer seen a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, no why. And one thing to keep in mind with this code is that it can't be difficult to troubleshoot. And quite often it's gonna be inside the wiring or some kind of issue going on, and that can be difficult to troubleshoot. So definitely keep that in mind. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, the first thing is be sure to check your fuses, be sure there's no blowing fuses. And this is mainly going to be any of the fuses that have to do with any of the computer modules. So like the TCM or anything labeled like ECU or anything along these lines. It's going to be different. It's going to depend on the vehicle and the year and things like this. Where the fuses are and which fuses are protecting what. But the first thing to go and do is be sure you don't have no blown fuses. The next thing is to be sure that the batteries charge good and that there's no charging issues going on with the alternator. Because all these computer modules, they all need a good power supply in order to work correctly. So if the battery's drained or if that alternator is not charging correctly, then it can't throw things off. So be sure there's no issues going on there. And the next thing that's gonna cause this problem is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And this is gonna be inside the harness going around to everything. A wiring issue can be difficult to troubleshoot. Sometimes these connectors get loose and so they just need to be reseated. Sometimes things like oil or transmission fluid or something along these lines, they get inside of there and they mess things up and they just need to be cleaned up and blown out. Also, there'll be ground wires inside the harness going around to all the different computer modules. And if there's some kind of issue with these ground wires, then they can throw things off. Off, so you can check all the ground wires. You can also go around and just physically examine the wiring harness that's going around to all the different computer modules and just check to see if you see any physical damage because sometimes things happen like rodents get in there, they chew on wires or different things like this. So you can look to see if you see any physical damage. Another thing that can cause this is that one of the computer modules is just failed and just causing an issue. And this can also be kind of difficult to troubleshoot. One thing many people can do is that quite often when these computer control modules go bad, the boards get burnt. This doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen fairly often is that these boards get burnt or one of these capacitors blows up or something like that. And so if you could just go around to where all the computer modules are located and just see if you can't smell any kind of burnt smell. Because sometimes when these computer control modules go bad, they actually get burnt on their boards. Of course, if you have a good OBD2 scan tool, there'll be some other tests that you can run to see if those computer control modules are having issues or which circuit it's on. For example, if you're getting other codes that's related to the ABS module, then very likely there's some kind of issue going on with that ABS module or the wires going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0073 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.